welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a video about half an hour before I'm about to leave for the airport. I'm going to India in like a few hours. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be really productive, film a video so I can have something to edit on the plane. It's just gonna be a haul of things that I picked up in the last few months. So this is quite a bit of stuff, but to be fair, it's been a couple of months of accumulation and also it was my birthday two days ago. So I've gotten a few things from that as well. I've got a big pile of stuff here. Not sure if you can see it, but I'm just gonna be picking randomly from this pile and showing you stuff as they come. So no categories today. I'm just gonna show you stuff that I pick up. So the first thing are these sunglasses. They have a cool like rose gold slash gold hardware and black lenses. These ones are off eBay and I think I got them for like $6. The only thing is they came a little bit lopsided so I kind of have to raise an eyebrow to make them look a bit even. And I do think that they look really cool on, especially from the side. I went thrifting the other day for the first time in months and months. I don't think I had gone thrifting since April. And I picked up this top. It has the exact same v-neck cut on the front as the back. And it just looks really nice on. And my friend Julie said it made my nipples look really good. <laughs> oh, and I should also mention that the stuff that I'm wearing is all new as well. So this t-shirt is one that my friend got me. It's the Thrasher Magazine flame print. And I've been on the lookout for this t-shirt. I'm on the mailing list for this t-shirt and it hasn't been in stock for the longest time. And he came and surprised me with it for my birthday and I literally just like lost my shit. I was so happy. I still am so happy. Like I can't believe it's finally mine. I'm just so stoked. So thank you Jono if you're watching this. This is the best thing ever. I love it. And the next thing I'm wearing is my Connie nameplate necklace. This is 24 karat gold and I've just wanted this for such a long time as well. Actually all the things I'm wearing I've just wanted for a really long time. The stars aligned and I finally have the classic Sex and the City Carrie Bradshaw necklace. So I just kind of wanted my own replica of that with my name. And then I have this Diamante Choker which is from some UK store. I'll link it down below. I'm not sure what the name is, but this is the one with three rows of rhinestones. I really wanted the one with five rows, but it was out of stock for so long, and I was like, oh, I just can't be bothered waiting. I'm not a patient person. So I just ordered the one with three, and it's still quite nice, but um, if that five row ever comes back, I'm gonna definitely be getting that one as well. My friend Adri also got me this melted lipstick in the color Chocolate Honey. This is by Too Faced and it's like a lipstick but in liquid form. So it's definitely not like a super matte, but it's something better for days when I don't want like a really dry matte lipstick. Also for my birthday, my friend got me three pairs of socks. Thanks Maggie. First pair are these ones with like a little pug on the side. These ones I've actually already worn, but it's like the rip and dip cat that's like doing the thumbs up. It's so cute. And the last pair she got me are these praying hand OVO socks. They're so good. I am, a Drake fan and I think she knows. Um, my family friend also surprised me with some stuff for my birthday. She got me this lace bodysuit um, which has like strategic floral inlay over the titties. She also got me these white high-waisted shorts. They are a tiny bit big for me but after I eat a lot of food they fit perfectly. This next item I have just been watching for like three months waiting for it to be summer or even vaguely hot to purchase them. And they are the Ohana Swim Bikinis. I wanted the red ones, which look like this, for such a long time. They're so beautiful. My friend Jo has the exact same pair. These bottoms are so skimpy. The back is literally the exact same size as the front. So if you want a really sexy tan, then this is what you would want to go for. And the top is very small as well, but I think it's still decent because I don't have like tits of any kind. So they cover me just fine and I get minimal tan lines with this as well. And I think red is just such a gorgeous color for at the beach. I think it's very like femme fatale. Next thing I have is this crop top. It's okay, it's a bra. It's from Urban Outfitters. It's like a tube top 
with these little spaghetti straps that are stretchy as well. The whole thing stretches heaps. And I've wanted one of these tops with the straight, like, across cut, but with little straps for ages. I just think that look is really beautiful and 90s and very classic. And I also got another item in the similar square cut neckline with spaghetti straps, and that is this dress here from Reformation. I got the size extra extra small because it was on sale and they had free shipping. This dress is so flattering. It fully accentuates your curves. I don't even have any curves and it somehow manages to make me look like I do. That dress is just my favorite little black dress. It is perfect. Also from Urban Outfitters, I got this little gold choker that wraps around like that. And it doesn't go around all the way, which is kind of annoying because um, sometimes you can see the black strap, but the front is so gorgeous, I can definitely overlook it. And it does make it more comfortable to wear to have the black string. My family friend who got me the shorts and top also got me this little black choker with little stars on them. I think they're all from her boutique. It's called Little JC. If you look it up, I'm pretty sure it'll be online. It's an Australian boutique. She's like my most stylish family friend and she always surprises me with the best gift. I'm blown away every time. These next glasses I have are from eBay. They literally, if you look up round glasses, I think these are the first thing that'll pop up. These ones are just like the ones with the red tint and gold hardware. Um, I really like these, but they are very dark. Like, I can't see a lot when I have these on, but they do look really nice and nobody will be able to see your eyes either. I've been watching these for a while and I finally cracked and bought them when I was in Sydney. I went shopping one day and I saw these high-waisted journey jeans in Topshop and these are the white ones and you know how much I love the black ones and how I literally wear the black ones all the time so I decided to switch it up and buy some white jeans. They do get dirty a lot faster than my black jeans, but the good part is they won't fade, whereas my black jeans do. So I guess that's like an okay compromise for me. I've been buying stuff off Urban Outfitters so much in the last month, actually. I also got these sunglasses. They're like aviators, but the really cool thing is they have this bar across the top. They're so comfy and really light, so I'm really, really happy with these and I'm definitely taking them with me to India as my only pair of sunglasses. I've got two makeup items. One of them, my friends Maddie and Elena got me for my birthday, and that is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Like I said, I really wanted this, and man, they came through and got it for me. It is so pretty. It's exactly like the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, except this one has all matte shades, so instead of having the shimmery ones in the other palette, it's got brand new matte colors and I'm taking this with me to India to try out. I did the eye look that I'm wearing today with all the shadows as well so I'm loving this. It is just beautiful. I love Too Faced packaging like I'm just a sucker for packaging. Speaking of gorgeous packaging, the only other makeup item I picked up in the last couple months is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Oh my god like I still am in awe of this palette. It is so, so beautiful. There's something about the softness of the outside and the combination of colors and how pigmented they are and how versatile they are for making all different types of looks. There's something about them that just like, it, it gets me, you know? And I've been really feeling red eyeshadows since probably like June or July. I've loved red eyeshadows and this one has like three really ready pinky colors in them and I've just been, I don't know, it's so good for neutral looks, so good for like out there looks as well. And I actually don't hate the little brush that it comes with. It's a dual ended brush and I don't hate it. Like I actually use this all the time and it's just so convenient for when I travel. So I'm taking this one with me to India as well for sure. And that concludes my entire collective haul. I haven't been purchasing as much stuff as I was this time last year, so I'm really proud of that. But yeah, you know, I still gotta change it up sometimes, so I'm definitely still buying things, but I'm just trying to like let go of things as I buy new things and just contribute to the circle of life. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I literally have to 
finish packing and go to the airport now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.